Country legend Tim McGraw has strategically invested his wealth in impressive real estate. It's no wonder when you consider that he and his equally iconic wife Faith Hill have a combined net worth of $165 million. The couple's primary residence, located in Nashville, Tennessee, boasts 5 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, and an expansive 22,460 square feet of space. Put that in perspective, the average US home is approximately 2,261 square feet, making their residence 10 times the size. Now that Tim and Faith's three daughters have moved out, the couple enjoys the grandeur of their spacious home. Tim frequently offers peeks into their residence in social media, revealing a space that could easily rival a luxury hotel. Recently, he shared an Instagram clip seated in what appeared to be one of their living rooms, watching some of his classic music videos. The sophisticated room featured contrasting yet harmonious textures such as a luscious tan leather sofa and a plush black and gray carpet. The overall ambiance of their home reflects a perfect blend of elegance and comfort, not to mention it sits on a beautiful sprawling piece of land. Tim McGraw, born on May 1, 1967 in Delhi, Louisiana, emerged as one of country music's most iconic figures, blending traditional contemporary sounds with an undeniable charm. Raised by his mother Betty Trimble after his father, baseball player Tug McGraw, left before he was born, Tim grew up with a love for sports and music. His passion for music became evident during his college years, and he eventually made the bold decision to pursue a career in the industry. In 1996, Tim McGraw's life took a significant turn when he met fellow country artist Faith Hill. Their love story began when they were both on the spontaneous combustion tour. At the time, Faith was engaged, but the connection between her and Tim was undeniable. The chemistry that unfolded on and off stage led to a powerful collaboration on the duet It's Your Love, which became a massive hit. Despite both facing challenges in their personal lives, Tim and Faith's connection deepened, and they tied the knot on October 6, 1996. As you may know, they became one of the most beloved power couples in the music industry. Tim and Faith became parents to three daughters as well, Gracie Catherine, Maggie Elizabeth, and Audrey Caroline. Family has always been at the core of their lives, and the couple prioritizes maintaining a strong and supportive home environment, despite being empty nesters these days. As their family grew, so did their professional collaborations. Tim and Faith continued to make music together, creating hits like Speak to a Girl and The Rest of Our Life. In terms of their home life, the couple owns impressive real estate, including a notable residence in Nashville, Tennessee. This five bedroom, 10 bathroom home stands a vast 22,460 square feet, reflecting the couple's success in the music industry. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill's current estate has been kept largely private, mostly because it's a custom dream home they built from the ground up. Located in Nashville, Tennessee, or somewhere just in the nearby outskirts, records show that the mega mansion spans over 22,000 square feet of space inside. Tim and Faith offloaded their other properties properties in recent years, but the fact that this estate is so huge, also boasting 5 beds and 10 baths, it's obvious the couple doesn't need much else. With the average American family home spanning approximately 2,260 square feet of space, the couple's abode is 10 times the size of that. Now that Tim and Faith's three daughters are all grown, the two further have all of the space to themselves, so I bet it gets a little quiet. Tim often shares glimpses of the home's interiors on social media, and we can get an idea of how massive and lavish the home really is. The country star shared a clip on Instagram sitting in what looked like to be one of the living rooms, watching his old music videos. The room was decorated with sophisticated glam and textures like a buttery leather sofa in a shade of tan, as well as black and gray carpets underfoot. The rest of this room was painted in a shade of white and boasted floor to ceiling windows at the front of the home, which brought in light. Nearby, there was a marble topped island and a spiral black staircase also revealed. During past Christmases, we also could see another room in the massive mansion, which seems like the great room. And this space has been decorated in all white. Even even the Christmas tree itself at the time followed this theme. Aside from the floor to ceiling windows, we could see an antique brass chandelier and a grand piano. It's also clear the double height great room has soaring ceilings with wood beams. The kitchen has a slightly different theme and from what
what Tim had shown in the past, there are varnished wood floors, black and white statement wall, as well as add-ons, like a stainless steel chimney hood and a suite of more stainless steel appliances. The open plan looking space also has a handful of storage cabinets, a blue island with white top and leather seats, as well as a grey couch in the back of the room. The outside of their home is just as stunning, with grounds that look more like a park than a backyard. There are amazing views of the surrounding areas as well, and we could see this when the couple post a pic of a tree decked out in fairy light. Back in February 2021, Tim sold a spot which took he and his wife years of work and tons of money to construct, their private island in the Bahamas. The couple purchased the island called L'Ile d'Ange in 2003, and they listed it for $35 million a year before. But the final selling price wasn't revealed. It ended up being far more complicated than Tim and Faith originally thought, since there was no existing structures on the island. Before they could build their dream vacation home, they needed to construct housing for the construction staff, as well as water and electrical access. Therefore, the home wasn't fully complete until 2012. 20 Acre Island had almost 1.3 miles of waterfront, included two beachfront cottages, a private dock, three staff residences, residences, engineering facilities, and much more. While the island is surrounded by the sea, the couple still needed a swimming pool. And I don't blame them, I'm more of a pool person myself. The pool terrace is only a few steps from the seaside and it transitions seamlessly into the indoor area. There's stylish outdoor furnishings on the surrounding terraces to hang out and lounge as well. The main residence is located on a high point at the center of the island to give the best views while inside it spans over 6,500 square feet with an additional 5,000 square feet of covered patios and open air breezeways branching to other structures. The other structures or pods gather around a central courtyard or pavilion and there's also a large open air living space here. The interiors of the estate match wonderfully with the clear blue skies and sea outside such as blue accents in certain rooms. Tim explained that they essentially had to build a small town to accommodate accommodate all the staff helping them build the place, so it wasn't without its challenges. While the sprawling property was big enough for an army, there were still romantic corners where Tim and Faith could spend some alone time. While they started off with a mere shack on the island, these days the massive eight pavilion estate is connected by thatched roofs, while outside there is meticulous tropical landscaping and plenty of palm trees. The couple's home had beach inspired design throughout and a washed out color palette with accents of color. One of the eight pavilions was ideal for spending time with family and friends, boasting a large wooden dining table, as well as a lowered sofa style seating and shade away from the sun. The property had a zen feel to it, especially with the airy hallways. There were also beautiful guest quarters with seaside inspired tones and plush furnishings, as well as a kid's dorm with bunk beds and two bathrooms. Other spaces included a massive great room which opened directly to the poolside terrace. Tim and Faith's former master suite here might have been the main attraction as it's completely open on one wall, or at least it could do that, allowing you to fall asleep to the waves crashing if you wanted to. Reportedly, they also had a freestanding bathtub here on the private porch. While that wraps up our look at Tim McGraw's house tour, we can see that he and Faith's impressive real estate portfolio reflects not only their enduring success in the country music industry, but also the tangible fruits of hard work and dedication. From Tim's expansive and stylish Nashville home to other notable properties, each residence mirrors the same level of sophistication and comfort that Tim and Faith Hill have carefully cultivated in their personal and family life. Before we go, answer this question for me. Who is your favorite power couple in the entertainment industry? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. 
There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.